My name is Aaron Chandler and you're watching Coast Chai YouTube channel. The perfect place for theme park news, reviews and vlogs. After all, I've always got roller coasters running through my mind. Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shadungster Born, but built for theme park news and welcome to a theme park news update from Legoland Winter. Now this is on some developments for 2021 which have an update. Now we reported on this in an earlier video, uh, so I'm going to share some information for those of you who didn't sort of catch the information that we gathered in that earlier video. Make sure you go and watch that as well, because uh, it gives you an idea of what's being planned here. Uh, so Project Rex. Uh, which is set to be, or, or highly likely to be, a Lego Movie World area, set to open in 2021 at Legoland Windsor. Um, and we've got an update on what the plans and, the, and sort of what's happened to the plans. Uh, so make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell. See you next YouTube video. Share the turn around with your friends, family, and on social media. And for now, guys, let's get into this video. So on your screen right now, according to Towers Times and South Park's media, big shout out to them. Credit goes to them for the images. Fan Dabby Dorsey. Uh, those are some uh, plans and concept plans uh, for the new area. Just while I share some details for you if you didn't see that earlier video. Uh, so this is a redevelopment of a large section of Adventureland. Uh, one of the oldest areas of the park, which is home to Harborside Fish and Chips, Picnic Grove, a number of smaller games, retail and F&B kiosks, as well as the Squid Surfer attraction. Now, the Squid Surfer attraction would be rethemed with the area. Uh, now, the main attraction is a massive 13 meter high building constructed to house an indoor attraction, most likely to be uh, a flying theatre, like a Lego, Lego Movie World Masters of Flight flying theatre attraction. And the plans show that the front of the building will be finished in a lavender colour and take an appearance of a dog with its tongue out with colour pool paid courtyard area to the front of the attraction. And that's very much like the flying theatre in the other Lego Movie World. So, you know, very clear that it pretty much could be the same attraction. Uh, the area will also include a cover to queue, a 3.4 meter high entrance portal, models and interactive features. Diagrams illustrating the interior of the building suggest the attraction will be a flying theatre. Uh, also proposed is a drop tower. This is located in the centre of the new land, uh, comprising two steel drop towers, a control cabin and partially covered queue. The new ride constructed on the site where currently there is an existing dead tree stump, which will need to be relocated due to the need to retain the stump's ecological function. So I like that the park are doing that, uh, but it means they're also putting a new ride in as well as keeping its ecological purpose with the dead tree stump. Submitted so drawings of the new ride show each tower will be topped with a theming feature which is the same as design as the Unikitty character from the Lego movie which is going to be like Lego Land Florida's Unikitty Disco Drop. So this very much resembles the Florida Lego movie world this, uh, which to be fair that looks brilliant so this is good for Windsor. Uh, two further additions are also planned for the new area, play equipment constructed next to Harbour Side Fish and Chips, I'm sure that will be rethemed. With the proposed designs indicating Benny's play ship will be landing in the area. There will also be a photo opportunity building which will be built in the western part of the de development area. Which will be designed to be a replica of a well known Lego concept. Uh, description to the building within the plan suggests that this will be a character meet and greet area similar to Emmett's Super Suite at the Legoland Florida Lego Movie World. So again, resembling the Florida one. Uh, next to the photo opportunity building will be a games unit kiosk which will also serve as a location to purchase and collect photographs from. So again, very nice for the area there. Whilst Harborside Fish and Chips and Squid Surfer will remain, plans show both will be rethemed and updated to blend in with the new area. Although not confirmed within the plan document, one potential option for Squid Surfer could be re to retheme it along the lines of Florida's Battle of Bricksburg with plans for the area showing Duplo models added around the ride. Uh, so if approved, and I'm going to get on to this, the update, if it's approved or not, we've got the update and I'm going to confirm that later on. Uh, if approved, so if it is approved or not approved, the currently anticipated that the new area will be constructed over the course of two closed seasons with some work taking place during the main 2020 season, so this year. Uh, so look out if you're there at Legoland Winter for some construction. This would lead to a current proposed initial date for 2021. Uh, and this new land was proposed for the different location within the theme park as part of the resort's long-term development plan. 
but due to the time taken to gain planning consent, the initial plan had to be delayed in a new location within the theme park found to allow for ease of access during construction. So that's what we knew already. That's what I already described in the earlier video. Again, make sure you go check that out in the Legoland Parks playlist. Um, now, the update we have for you on this new area is whether the plans have been accepted and I can gladly confirm um, by the way, thank you very much again, like I said earlier, to Towers Times and South Parks Media for those planning images. All credit goes to them. Uh, but we do have the news. The plans have been approved, so we are expecting construction work to take place in the main 2020 season and over the 2020-2021 closed season. So, um, loads of work set to take place over this next closed season and, of course, during this season as well. Uh, which is very, very cool indeed. Legoland Windsor definitely is a park to look out for for the family market in the next few years. I think the re now the the, the res resort's long-term development plan has finally been approved. Uh, last year it was a it was finally approved um, after months of waiting and delaying and trying to get this long-term development plan off the ground. Uh, we are going to see a lot of new things come to the park in the next few years. Lego Movie World in 2021, obviously we've got the, the Duplo Dino Coaster opening in 2020, as well as the refurbished Atlantis Submarine Voyage into Lego City Deep Sea Adventure. While I'm here, and while I've got a Legoland video up, I'm going to share the logo for Lego City Deep Sea Adventure on your screen now. Panda Bedorzi looks absolutely fantastic. Obviously in the long term development plan there were uh, reports of a Lego Barrels themed hotel accommodation, like a lodge accommodation. So like Enchanted Village, Alton Towers, but it's like Lego Barrels. Um, that apparently was mentioned in the long term development plan as some kind of accommodation. So I think with the development plan approved uh, last year, we could be seeing some brand new accommodation come to Legoland Windsor. I would guess around 2023, 2024 maybe. Uh, so that should be a year to watch out for for accommodation at Legoland Windsor. That will be the second hotel at the park uh, behind the Legoland Windsor Hotel. Um, but yeah, this is this is definitely going to be an interesting one. Um, this is going to be an interesting development in the Lego Movie World. So make sure you check out for some construction in the 2020 season for this new area. Because uh, I'm really excited to see what's going to happen with this. So thank you very much for watching this theme park news update on Lego Movie World. Finally approved. Construction will begin in the 2020 season for this new 2021 development at Legoland Windsor. Make sure you like the video if you've loved it, comment down below your thoughts, and subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Make sure you share the channel around with your friends, family, and on social media. And for now, guys, keep living the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care. Have an awesome day, my friends.